Hey everyone, I wanted to make this video quickly uh, about the SQ12 camera. I buy and sell these from China. I have been for the past couple years and I've been noticing uh, for the past about, mm, about year, I've been getting more and more fakes or counterfeits or non-originals or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it's, it's not the same camera as the genuine, authentic, real SQ12 camera. But China, because of the popularity of this little camera, they're starting to produce it cheaper and there's counterfeits floating around. And a lot of suppliers that sell these on eBay or Amazon or on the internet are using the same stock photos, which show on the photos that they're the original, but they're not. And I'm going to explain to you why you really don't want the fake SQ12 camera. It's just crap in comparison to the real one. Um, but I wanted to go over the two physical differences that you can tell immediately after pulling it out of the box if you have a genuine SQ12 camera or a fake. Again, I buy and sell these on eBay. I have for a couple years now, and now I'm starting to run into problems with getting the fake ones, which look pretty close. So I have a few here, and you can probably already tell the differences. It's in the lenses. If you can see, this one and this one have kind of a red tint to them, whereas the other ones are black. If you can guess, the red ones are the fakes. These are the counterfeits. These are not HD quality, and they're not wide-angle lens. Most of the time, the charging port doesn't even work. The camera doesn't properly charge. Um, the functions on the top with the instructions and the buttons here are not the same as the original. I mean, I don't even know why they're throwing this camera out here. It's just complete crap. It's four by three aspect ratio. It's grainy. It's narrow field of view versus the authentic that has HD 1080p wide screen, uh, proper night vision, wide angle lens, 155 degrees wide angle lens. So anyways, you really don't want the fakes. And now I'm fighting with China to try to tell them, you know, they're saying it's the same camera. Look at it. And I'm like, no. One has a certain type of lens and the other one has a different. This is not the same. This is a fake SQ12. So that's the first noticeable difference. The second is how much they weigh. If we turn on my scale here and set it to grams, make sure it's at zero and take one of the fakes and put it on top. We're looking at about 14 grams. If we take the authentic and put it on top, we're looking at about, it's usually 18 to 20 grams. So it usually weighs four to five grams more than the fake. You can actually tell when you're holding it in your hand, it actually feels a lot heavier. It's about 25% heavier than the fake camera. Another thing that I've noticed is you can't really tell in the video, but this, the authentic one, has a better rubbery feel than the counterfeit fake. It's it's just it's still made of like this kind of rubber material, but this one just feels higher quality, and it's because it is. A lot of the times the uh, infrared sensors on the fakes will be pushed in or recessed in. One will be way in, or the lens will be crooked or pushed in. I have hardly ever get a genuine uh, SQ12 camera that has either of those problems. So it's a shame that they're making these fakes and trying to pass them off as originals. It makes it really hard to purchase them online uh, from, from China because they all, again, use all the same stock photos. And so you don't really know which one you're going to get when you order it, you know. Luckily, with eBay, they have really good buyer protection. So if you, if, you know, the photos show it's the real one with the black lens camera and it says it's 1080p and it says it's wide angle lens. If you receive this one in the mail, file a dispute, write the seller. You know, I really want to get these, the, the people over there to, to understand that this is a fake counterfeit product and it's not working. So get your money back because this is not what you want to order. The other thing I've noticed sometimes is if you're going to pay around $15 or more for this, for, you know, an authentic, they say it's a, the genuine original SQ12 camera, 
you usually have a better chance of getting the real one. If you're paying under $10 for an SQ12 camera, chances are you're gonna receive the fake one. So that's kind of what they're doing. And last thing uh, that I'll mention is a lot of the, the, when this camera first came out, it, the main brand was called Q Lima or Q Lima. I'll put a little screenshot up here so what you can see, but they used to print on the bottom here, Q Lima, and Every time I received that camera, it was the, the right one with the black lens. It weighed about 18 to 20 grams. It was the genuine camera. But then I don't know what happened to that brand or whatnot, but they no longer put that, uh, that um, logo on the actual camera. They don't print it on there. But a lot of the photos still show on the Internet, on eBay or Amazon or wherever you purchase it, banggood.com, whatnot. It'll show Q Lima or Q Lima. And so you want to write the, the seller and be like, am I going to receive one that says Q Lima on the front or am I going to receive a blank one or am I going to receive the one with the red lens? Again, my point of this video is, in, is to hopefully, hopefully help you spot the differences immediately when you buy this thing so you're not disappointed, get your money back. Maybe if enough people you know, send their stuff back and file disputes, the suppliers over in China will... Uh, wake up and quit buying these crap cameras because again this does not this is about 15% of what this one can do the qual the, the audio is horrible it's grainy video it's not HD it's not wide angle um, it's super narrow it's zoomed way in the night vision hardly ever works sometimes one of them will turn on sometimes none of them will the charging port doesn't always charge the LED indicator light on the top um, doesn't doesn't accurately reflect what the instructions say a lot of the times it's got a rattling sound that's the other thing the fake ones usually have a rattling sound on the inside which is probably the battery or the camera lens not being secured down where these are just a much better quality camera this is the original this is the genuine sq12 so hope you found this video informative uh, please give it a like if you did and good luck on your sq12 camera shopping